Welcome to The Man in the Middle. I am your host, Bill West. Today we're going to be looking at the Maestr the Matrix Resurrection soundtrack. I just got it today on uh, CD. I've actually been listening to it. Uh, Amazon has that auto receiver when you buy CDs or albums. Uh, they all, some give you a, a digital, and this one was one of the ones that did. All right, Matrix Resurrections. Uh, I don't know if you've caught my video on it. I actually did sort of like the movie. Uh, it wasn't great by any uh, <laughs> sense of the word, uh, but it wasn't well, it was bad. <laughs> I liked some of the things they did with it. I liked uh, uh, the analyst. I liked uh, the young Mr. Smith. Uh, I actually like the thought of uh, the new Morpheus. I hope you guys have seen the movie because I'm giving it away. Uh, the new Morpheus actually being a mixture of Mr. Smith or Agent Smith and Morpheus. You know, that was, that was an interesting thought. I like the thought of the uh, Machine City Civil War. Uh, I like the new city, uh, not Zion. I can't remember the name of the city. I like the fact that, uh, you know, I, I didn't like the ending of <coughs> the last Matrix movie, or the third one, uh, where Trinity and Neo both die. I like that they're back, you know. Uh, if we never see them again, at least they're living and they're together, and that's that makes me happy. Okay, here it is without the cover. Uh, two discs, and I can't read any of that. This is a, they said it was a print on, you know, like they're print on demand. But this doesn't look like it. This doesn't look like a print on demand CD. It did take uh, the better part of three weeks after I ordered it to get here. Trying to see if there's a track listing in here that I can read. You know, this is your basic, you know, your basic book. Okay. So like I said, there's two discs. First disc. I mean, if you see one, you've seen both, that pretty much, but I'll show them to you. Uh, the music itself, not quite up to Don Davis's score, even though, I mean, they use it in here. Uh, maybe they're trying to make a different sonic footprint of their own, trying to make it, you know. I wish they had brought back Don Davis. I really do. I enjoy his stuff so much. Uh, I've been, you know, I unfortunately, to, uh, <laughs> I also, I have the, uh, the complete score on vinyl coming in as I think, I think it's around my birthday, but even though it's being that long, uh, Amazon already sent me the auto riff link and I, oops, <laughs> I've been listening to that and this really, this one really doesn't come up anywhere as close as to the original score. Don Davis's original score was just so good. I think if they had used more, if they had actually brought him back, that might have helped the movie. Uh, but maybe he said all he had to say uh, in the trilogy and wasn't willing, or you know, maybe the money wasn't there to bring him back. Spaghetti sauce. <laughs> you have to forgive me. I should have taken a look before I went online. Okay. Uh, but what was I saying? 
It was, it's 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 not bad music by any sense of the word. It's just not. Uh, it comes up short compared to the original trilogy music. It would be like if they had brought uh, somebody else other than John Williams to score uh, The Force Awakens and just use some bits of his score, maybe use the main theme. Uh, I they, they got away from it and they got away with it in Rogue One because it wasn't a, a mainline Star Wars movie. And so the, the, the music added to that story because it wasn't a mainline Star Wars movie. As they didn't, you know, you know, I don't think they used much of the Imperial March where they could have. Uh, I th don't remember the Star Wars March being in there much at all, which was okay. I, I love uh, the music, the score to Rogue One. That's one of my favorite soundtracks. Uh, this, I've got it ripped and uh, I'm happy to have it in my collection. Don't get me wrong. I'm a big Matrix fan, even though I don't like the last movie or the third in the trilogy. And then this, then this one, the Matrix was, the Matrix movies are burdened with having such a good first movie and then trying to pick up on it. They shouldn't have, they shouldn't have done it. They should have just left it alone. This is the movie and this is the story and from let your imagination take off. But I'm getting far afield. Uh, I'm Bill. I'm the man in the middle. If you've liked what you've seen today, please give me a thumbs up and drop that comment down below. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Uh, you know, I'd appreciate it. And I know, uh, you know, the, the other people who subscribe would appreciate it. You know, if we, the more people we get subscribed, the higher we get. You know, the more stuff I can, uh, I can start putting out. That's a lie. I'm going to start, I'm going to keep putting stuff, stuff out anyway. You guys take care. I'm sorry, I cracked myself up. You guys take care and I will talk to you soon.